What's going on everyone? So I'm gonna apologize for the wind noise right now. It is so freaking windy, but I was able to find a little pocket right here in one of my favorite redfish spots. And this morning I was able to go ahead and sabiki up some uh, some pinfish. So I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and use the pinfish as cut bait and see if I can get some redfish. So the rig that I'm using today is my Pen Battle 4000 on my St. Croix Mojo Inshore 7.6 medium power rod. On here, I think I have 20 pound braid. And for a leader, I'm using 20 pound leader, about, uh, I'd say a foot and a half, two foot section of that. And then I have two split shots because of the wind and I don't really want it to, I want it to just kind of like sit on the bottom. So I'm using two split shots, probably about an inch above the hook. And then I'm using a one O circle look right here. So what I'm using for bait today is cut pinfish. So all I did is speaking up some pinfish this morning. I cut the head off, cut the tail off, and cut the top fins off. So it's really just like a meat little, it's like a little nugget for these fish. So all I'm gonna do is cast this under the mangroves in these slots, and then just let it sit on the bottom and wait for the redfish to pick it up. You're gonna try and get it as far back in there as you can, just like that. Got one, there we go, there we go. Feels like a decent one. I was not ready for that. <laughs> yeah, it's a little red. Probably like a 20 inch red. That did not take long at all. Beautiful fish. Yeah, I'd say low 20s on. I was kind of like readjusting and I just saw the line start going. I was like, oh, I guess I'm on. I'm guessing, I'm guessing 21 on this fish actually. Come on. Yeah, solid redfish right there. Perfect, exactly what I was looking for, or a little bit smaller than what I was looking for, but I'll take it. 20 and a half inches. He's also bleeding a little bit, so let me get him in the water pretty quickly. There you go, dude. Redfish are very hardy and tough fish, so. That little nick that I gave him ain't, ain't gonna do anything to him. Perfect, well that was very quick. All right, got another bait ready to go. Let's see if there's more in there. Right there, perfect. When fishing the mangroves like this, you want to make sure you're fishing it on a relatively high tide because then the fish will start stacking up in the roots of the mangroves and that's where you want to fish. You want to fish in the little cuts right here and try and get as far back in the mangroves as you can. There we go. Got another one. That quickly. Uh, it's in maybe the same size, maybe a little smaller. But that was... 30 seconds and I got another fish. This is why I think using cut bait in mangroves is probably the most efficient way to catch redfish. I know I'm not catching any monsters right now, but I'm also not using the biggest baits. If I was doing this with a uh, cut mullet or maybe cut ladyfish, some bigger baits, then I might be catching some bigger fish, but I can't complain with catching fish every 30 seconds like I am right now. Come here, dude. Another like 20 incher. Here we go. Beautiful redfish right there. Awesome. A little over 20 inches. Beautiful fish. Let's get the release on him. Bait number three. I really cannot think of a more effective way to catch redfish than using cut bait underneath mangroves on high tide. It just seems like you're seeing every like 30 seconds to like a minute, I'm getting another fish. Uh, they may not be the biggest fish in the world, and that's probably because I'm using smaller baits like this, but for me, it's more I'm out here for like entertainment purposes. I'm out here just to have a good time and catch some fish. That's why I'm using these pinfish and smaller baits like this, because I'm getting bit every 30 seconds. You could come out here with some bigger baits, like some mullet, like some ladyfish and stuff like that, and you could be going after those like 30 to even up to like 40 inch fish that sometimes screws around here but you're gonna be waiting a while for that fish to, to bite. So I'd rather come out here and just be nonstop action with these smaller baits like this, and I'm having a great time right now. All right, enough talking, let's get back in there. So this is a slightly bigger pinfish, so this is gonna be the biggest bait I'll put in there. I'll see if it does anything. I gotta get it in there though. We'll try right there. All right, I had one already. Also, my drag was super loose. Are you joking? That was like 10 seconds. Okay, here we go. It's in there now. 
There we go. There we go. That's a better one. That's a slightly better one. Come on. Come here, dude. Probably the best one so far. Ah, nah, it's about the same size. You just felt super heavy at first. Really, maybe even the smallest one of the day. Dude, why did you feel like you were like high 20s when you froze your bit? That's three redfish in, in five minutes. Like, I can't think of a better way to catch redfish than this. Obviously, I would like to be catching them like on top water, on a flat, or like on fly or anything, but for efficiency, this is probably the best way I know of. There we go, another solid fish. Like these would all be keepers if the season was open, which is crazy to think about. Measure him up too. Again, right at 20. We got the cookie cutter fish out here again. There we go. This is awesome. I love this, there's non-stop action like this right now. Let's see if we can go four for four on redfish right now. You obviously want heavy drag because you're fishing the structure and the roots and everything right here. So you want to be able to pull them out. That's why I like using this medium power rod and a 4,000 reel because you want to be able to kind of force them out and you don't know if you're going to get that upper 20, even like 30, to maybe even 40 inch fish over here. If I got a 40 inch fish on this setup, I'd be in for a ride. I do not know if I'd be able to catch that. There we go. Drag. Why is my drag so loose? There we go. Another. This might be the smallest one of the day. This is probably like 18. Hey, dude. What's going on, bud? Let's say I have a camera. Here he is. So this is by far the smallest fish of the day right here. He's probably about 18 inches, but using cut pin fish under the mangroves has got to be the most efficient way to catch a good number of redfish and it's just so much fun. It's so easy to do. All right, I'm gonna get the release on him. There he goes. So when you're hooking your cut bait, you always wanna hook it in the skinnier end. It makes it a lot easier to cast and skip your bait if you have the fatter end of your bait at the end. It gets more momentum that way, it skips it a little bit better, and you can get even further cast with it. So always hook it in the skinny end. So I always do it by the tail right there. Right there. That's a deep one. All right. I think I've caught them all out of this hole, even though I know there's usually a ton in there. All right, I'm gonna head over to my other spot and see if I can get a couple there before the tide gets a little too low. All right, so I'm here at spot number two. There's another little cut in the mangroves right here. I've got another piece of pinfish. Trying to cast it back in there, let it sit, see what happens. Already. Yep, already. Already got a redfish. That quickly. That was insane. That was 15 seconds, if that. Hey, little guy. Little guy compared to the other ones we were getting, but still a redfish, though. It's about the same size, actually. Right in that 18 to 20 inch mark. There we go, another beautiful redfish right there. Right at 18 inches. So yeah, a little bit smaller one. Let's get the release on him. All right, one last pinfish right here. See how long this takes. So I think that's gonna do it for today. I didn't end up getting anything on that last bait. So that's fine because I still had a very good day. I ended up catching those five redfish. Definitely cannot complain with that. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys next time.